You play over in Europe with and against a lot of these Samoan boys. What do you know about them and what are you expecting tomorrow? Well, I actually play with two of them, uh, Johnny Leota and TJ. Uh, and you know, they're both super physical players, uh, aggressive, and, and they don't shy away from the, the contact. So we've got to match them up front first and foremost. And then hopefully, uh, you know, we, we can play smart rugby and get in the right areas of the field and, uh, and convert some, get some points. This Pacific Nations Cup is building towards the World Cup and can't win the tournament now, but how important would two wins be to wrap up the campaign? Massive. I think it'd be huge for morale. Uh, you know, obviously, like you said, it's, this is a warm-up for the World Cup, so we're focused on on our kind of what we want to play and how we want to play the World Cup and what we want to achieve. So, you know, obviously we want we want to get wins and uh, I think it's a massive part of this tournament. Um, but we're focused on ourselves and, and working on the things we need to we need to work on before the World Cup. The games in the Pacific Nations Cup seems like you're just starting to get your, your the, the wheels rolling a little bit. What did you like in the Tonga uh, game and what needs to be fixed against Samoa? Uh, just a few handling mistakes and errors. Uh, we're trying to push it a bit too much. Um, we had good patience at times and, uh, and we had a really strong start so that's just hope hopefully we can duplicate that and continue to build off it in the game against Samoa. Canada can't win the, the Pacific Nations Cup but how important are two wins uh, wrapping up this tournament? Yeah you know winning winning is important every time you go out on the pitch it's always the focus um, we never turn up with the intention of losing so it'd be good to uh, you know finish off on a positive note and start building towards some bigger and better things hopefully.